In this video, we're going to talk about isomorphic graphs. And basically, an isomorphic graph looks different, but represents the same thing. Now, looking below, you'll notice that we have some graphs on the left and some graphs on the right. What we are asked to do is to connect each graph on the left with its isomorphic graph on the right. And at first glance, people might go, all right, well, the two squares must be isomorphic. They look the same. But if you look closely at the vertices, they are not. Looking at vertex B on the left side, you will notice that this vertex connects with A and connects with C. If we were to write that down, we would go B connects with A and B connects with C. Yet, if we look on the right side at vertex B, this vertex actually connects with C and D. We would write down B connects with C and B connects with D. So they are not isomorphic graphs. So what I'm going to do is I've got a little diagram here which helps you figure out which graphs are isomorphic. We'll bring it down now. You'll notice that this graph I've made is exactly the same as the one I'm about to circle in red right now. So why did I make this diagram? Well, what makes this useful is that I can actually move the vertices and the edges will follow with it. So even if I move C all the way out here, it's still basically the same graph. So these two are still isomorphic and I can move the vertices wherever I want. As long as the edges follow them, they will remain isomorphic. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring C all the way down here and I'm going to bring vertex D down here. So even though I've moved the vertices around, they are still the same graph. And, and you might notice that the graph that I've just made is exactly the same as the graph on the right side in the middle. So we have found our two isomorphic graphs and we're going to connect them with a line. So how can we double check this? Well, I have some dot points that can help you double check these things. Uh, first dot point says they have the same number of vertices. They both have four vertices. So that's a tick. We'll, we'll tick that one. Um, the next point says they have the same number of edges. They all have four edges. So we'll tick that. In fact, you'll notice that every single graph has the same number of vertices and edges. Then third dot point says the degree of corresponding vertices is the same. And what you'll notice is no matter what vertex you look at, it's got a degree of two. There are two edges connected to each vertex, and that is the same for both of them. And the last one's probably the most important one, which says the edges connect to the same vertices. So how do we look at that? Well, let's look at vertex A on the left. Vertex A connects with vertex B, and vertex A also connects with vertex D, like so. Let's look at the graph on the right side, looking at vertex A, it connects with vertex B and also connects with vertex D. If you were to check all four vertices, you would find that you get the exact same result, meaning that both of these graphs are isomorphic. So we're going to match up the last two and we're going to do it without our special diagram this time. So the first thing is, if we look at the first three dot points, they all have ticks for all of them. I mean, they all have the same number of vertices, they all have the same number of edges, and the degree of corresponding vertices is the same. Every single vertex has a degree of two. So we're really only looking at the last dot point to check whether they are isomorphic. Okay, so if we look at the diagram on the left here in the middle, Vertex A connects with vertex B, we'll write that down, and vertex A also connects with vertex C. So we're looking for a diagram on the right that has those same properties. Let's look at the one at the top. Vertex A here connects with C, so A comma C, and vertex A also connects with D. So it definitely can't be this one. So I reckon it must be the one at the bottom. Vertex A connects with C, 
and vertex A also connects with B. So that's pretty promising. I mean, you need to check every single vertex. I'll let you do that. But I can quite safely say that these two here will be isomorphic. And if you look at the last one on the on the left and the top one on the right, they will be all isomorphic as well. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing isomorphic graphs. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.